The Spitfires are a series of British fighters, spanning from tier 2 to tier 4, that are the most British thing, since room temperature beer, having fucked up teeth, and getting stabbed, while walking down the street. Because there's just as many variants of Spitfire as there are drunks in Ireland, I figured I need to make it clear for the window lickers out there that there are three distinct types of Spitfire. Battle of Britain tier boo fantasy, actual fucking try hard mode, and lastly, Jesus fucking Christ is this even a Spitfire at this point? Here is how to play the Spitfires. You load either rare targets or stealth on your cannons, because Hispano cannons are more indecisive than Scottish independence referendums regarding whether or not they want to actually work. Next, load either ground targets or stealth on your 50 cals, or, if you're unfortunate enough to have 7-7s, seven load your choice of either universal or stealth belts to tickle the enemy to death. Before you go into battle, make sure you set your airspeed indicator to IAS. Using IAS allows you to easily judge how your plane will perform at any given altitude, and being able to use that to your passive and active advantage is key. Once you get into a game, consult the climb chart I've linked in the description to find out what your VY speed is. VY, in its simplest term, is the plane speed at which you climb to altitude in the shortest amount of time. The perfect balance of horizontal speed and vertical speed. Fuck it, here's a graph, teach yourself. This is basically online school anyways. The early and mid-tier Spitfires are thoroughbred turned fighters, meaning they sacrifice things like energy retention and dive performance when compared to energy fighters, in exchange for being able to turn faster than a Frenchman retreating. Even though you made a hefty trade for the ability to turn, this does not mean that you can't use energy to your advantage. You can easily cause enemy gamers to overshoot their dive on you and abuse the fuck out of your insane mobility and decent guns to shoot them down before they climb away for another pass. Alternatively, if you are above someone, you can pull out a knife and force them to dive, wasting all their vertical energy in the process. From here, you can force them lower and lower, eventually getting the drop on them and securing your juicy kill. Just, for the love of god, don't fucking dive with them, or a bobby will come and revoke your life license. The late tier 4 griffin spitfires are where things get interesting. And by interesting I mean they somehow made the spitfire not a spitfire anymore. Fun. Compared to earlier spitfires, the griffins are way faster, but with that gain of speed comes the sacrifice of maneuverability. You can still outturn German fighters, but Italian and especially Japanese fighters are going to fuck your shit up. To counter this, you need to play these spitfires as a weird medium between energy fighting and turn fighting. You climb, and once you are at equal or higher altitude to enemy gamers, start to pick out whoever seems to be the most dangerous to you, like the absolute chad you are. Use your great speed and superb maneuverability to put yourself in a good position, then cause their plane to commit Brexit. For your modifications, start off with radiator and fuselage repair. After that, go for compressor and airframe. Next, go for engine, then wing repair. Lastly, go for engine injection, cover, then finish off things like belts and gun upgrades. Most of the flight performance and survivability upgrades reduce things like drag and your turning radius, while boosting things like acceleration, top speed, and climb rate. Those should be your main priority when upgrading a Spitfire from stock. Alternatively, if you find that your guns aren't accurate enough, go for gun upgrades at your own discretion. For your crew skills, start off with G tolerance and stamina to pull tighter turns and black out less often. Next, go for keen vision 
and awareness so that you can spot people sooner and from a longer distance. Lastly, go for vitality to beef up your pilot's health and logistical shit like weapon maintenance to tighten the spread of your guns. This is how to play the ultimate Tebu fantasy. Now get out there and reenact that scene from Dunkirk.